Hey, what's going on, everyone? I'm the OP Jellicent, and we're back here on Pokemon Showdown. Got a team right here with a Choice Specs Magnezone on it. It's currently 1 a.m., so I figured I would just go ahead and grab a team. As if I built a team right now, it would not be a very good one, so... Then we got a team right here. It has a very nice offensive core between Magnezone and then a lot of Pokemon that appreciate Steel-type removal, such as Mega Alakazam and Shift Gear Magirna, which is very nice. And then, of course, we just have the standard four attacks right here, Thunderbolt, Flash Cannon, HP Fire, and Volt Switch, Max Speed, Timid Nature, Mega Zam right here, also a Timid Nature, which can go ahead and help us outspeed Dragonite and Gyarados after a Dragon Dance, which is very cool. Outspeed Mega Low Bunny, Mega Manectric, so that's very nice. I tried this out for the first time, like, I think it was yesterday, actually, with the Linoon team, and I really like Mega Zam now, so I'm going to go ahead and use it again. AV Tang right here, which is the team's Ash Green Ninja switch in. Gliscor, which is a Toxic or Poison Heal set. Also, another Pokemon that I really don't use very often, but Spadef Gliscor looks really nice in the meta right now between all the Shift Gear Magirna running around. Although, I guess a lot of them are an Ice Beam, so I gotta be careful. But yeah, Gliscor, great Pokemon right here. Rocky Helmet Torrenty, which is one of the several cart checks on the team between Gliscor, Torn, and Magnezone. And then finally, Shift Gear Ferium Z Magirna of my own. I actually changed the set with one move. It originally had Calm Mind, but I really don't like Flare Cannon and Focus Blast being your only coverage, so I put Thunderbolt on it over that, and yeah, that's going to be the team right here. One thing to be careful about if you guys do decide to try this team out is it cannot break Chansey at all. As you can see, all our offense right here is Special Attackers, Magirna, Alakazam, Magnezone, zone torn so if you find a chance you may as well click exit preview because you're not winning that game so just got to be careful about that and yeah let's go ahead and get right into the games all right i got the first game right here got a webs matchup right away which is pretty threatening just because they have the ditto for my magirna which is one of my better ways of winning this game i really think the Rebomi lead is going to be their option right here and i don't want to get paralyzed with anything else so i will be leading off with my with my magna zone here i can just go right here for a thunderbolt on the first turn I'd assume webs would either play, they can also pivot out into like maybe Ditto, but Ditto's not going to appreciate this, and any damage that I got on Ditto is great for Magirna, so I can just Thunderbolt again here. Superior is going to take like 40%, and that's a great damage for me, yeah, exactly 40, so it does reveal leftovers right here, probably going for a, I mean Tangrowth's my play here, they decide to go for a lead cheat, which doesn't really do anything at all, and uh, I just got a knock off this turn, which is really cool. They can sack or Bombi, or they can go Victini, let's see if this is Z-move, that looks like to be Z-move, yeah. I should have done a little bit more had it not been Z-move. I mean, so I really don't mind just staying in here and Earthquaking, knowing that the Z-move is coming, because I need the damage anyway, and I should be able to take hits with this Tangrowth anyway right now, so... I do a good 32 right there, which is not the worst damage ever. And, uh, following up this situation, I can just go right here for another one. I should live, yeah, because AV Tangrowth is very fat, and... I mean, this turn I can just sack off AV Tang as much as I hate to do that. They decide to go for Stored Power. So I think Alakazam can probably take one of these, let me just make sure. Because he will guaranteed outspeed me. Let's just make sure that Alakazam can actually take one of these. Searing Shot would not kill, yeah, so Alakazam is my play here. Plus one, Searing Shot does 77 to 92. So let's go Alakazam here, get the speed drop, unfortunate, but that's okay, I can just go ahead and Shadow Ball here. I'd assume they'd just stay in, and... I don't know, getting rid of Victini is really good for me. I don't really see how I'm stopping Gyarados after this thing goes down. Yeah, so they go for Searing Shot, and I'm able to go ahead and get rid of Victini right there. So Ditto decides to come out here. Ditto is a little bit of a threat. I can go out here into my Gliscor, I think, and probably take it on. Yeah, because they decide to go for Shadow Ball. I'm assuming they're Choice Scarf, right? So this scenario just allows me to go ahead and click Stealth Rocks here. I think if they Shadow Ball again, I can just go ahead and take the hit and with my Toxic Orb the next turn and start roosting up. That looks fine to me. Superior could come out here too and that would be a little bit troublesome because my Tang is gone. I'm gonna go right for either, actually not a, oh so that makes sense, it's not the Ditto, because they have webs up, they don't need to run Scarf Ditto, which is actually really cool, I like that idea a lot. I think in this scenario now, I just go right for, when I, I can just throw this out here. They just have to go for Focus Blast, interestingly, I don't know why they risked that right there. And uh, now I can just go out here into my Magirna. And, uh, I think I'll just Z Flare Cannon right away is my play here. Because if I get rid of Ditto, then I can actually win with this thing later, so... Now I basically just shift gear up on whatever comes out and try to go for game is my play. That's gonna do a lot, but uh, I should be able to just safely Flare Cannon this thing. I don't know if they have Bullet Punch or anything like that. If they had Bullet Punch, I'd probably lose here, but I guess we'll find out or not. Okay, so I Flare Cannon and knock that thing out. That's really good. I do have Thunderbolt for Gyarados. Gyarados does decide to come out right here. I will click Thunderbolt. 
as they decide to go right for the earthquake. I should have Fleur Cannon because they saw my set earlier, didn't they? Yeah, they definitely did, but I still won the game assuming Torn can hit a few attacks right here, which is what I have to go for because I don't actually have U-turn here, so I'm going to try to hit a Hurricane as I'm able to hit that one, and then uh, that will die on entry, and then finally this thing comes out. I think I just Heat Wave it twice. Uh, so I miss Heat Wave, which is interesting. Now I have to Hurricane. I actually have to Hurricane because of that Heat Wave miss. I guess in theory I can just Heat Wave twice. It's probably better than Hurricane once. Wow, that's uh, that's two 90% accurate misses right away. I'm attempting a Hurricane here as I hit it. Nice. I do get a nice confusion too, kind of justified because had I hit, wow, that's three Heat Wave misses. That's that's really cool. Let's hope that Magnezone takes one of these. Uh, it did not take one of those, and I just lost the match to three Heat Wave misses in a row. So, I mean, a little bit of an unfortunate scenario right there. I'll go ahead and just I can't forfeit in time. So, uh, I mean, it's, I'm not too mad about that, it happens, and I'll be right back with another game. Alright, I got the next game right here. A little bit unfortunate in the ending of the last match right there. I definitely should have won at the end, but that's okay. I can lead off here with Magirna because it pressures Pelipper the most, and, I mean, they should go they should go Ferrothorn, not Swampert, so I'm gonna Focus Blast here into the Ferrothorn. Maybe I'll hit my attack this time. I do hit, and that's clearly a more, like, offensive Ferrothorn. I don't even know. I'm gonna Focus Blast again here. Uh, hard Swampert's interesting because you kind of want that out of range of the Zam, right? So, I mean, in this scenario, I, c I can just go Tangrowth here on the Stealth Rocks. A little bit of an obvious Rocks right there, but I can really couldn't risk Magirna. Magirna is, like, going to win this game very easily. So, in this scenario, they should just sack off their Fair Thorn. So, I'll go for a knockoff here because it will be able to 2 it KO this thing, right? So, I'll just go for Earthquake now to make sure that my... I don't take any more unnecessary damage. I guess I, I guess I should have knocked there because I would have gotten regenerated health anyway. My play here is not Magirna. It's actually just to switch out into... So Gliscor is like really useless here. I'm just going to go ahead and sack that off. As they appear to be Choice Scarf. So that's really good information here. Actually, this is perfect because what this is going to allow me to do is get in Magirna. On the turn, Rain is about to go down and shift gear up. So they have to go Swampert. On the turn, Rain goes down, right? And then I just go for Z Twinkle Tackle here and... Yeah, they sack off Pelipper, but they just lost their range, so this thing comes back in here. They're probably going to Ice Punch here, but I guess I'd really have no business staying in. I'll go Tangrowth on the Earthquake. Yeah, that's not a big deal at all. As um, I mean, now I can just go for the Giga Drain into Lele, which is, like, really not that big of a deal here. I think, like, they've already shown to be Scarf, and Magnezone will take two. That is actually Specs. Did I just really miscalc my Gliscor that badly? <laughs> wow. I mean, uh, I just have to give them this now. They decide to go back to Swampert, which is interesting. I'll just Thunderbolt because they're going to Ice Punch and waste their own rain turns, yeah. Yep, there's a Waterfall, and um, I think I just go Alakazam to revenge it with the Swift Swim. Let me just make sure that my Psychic's actually going to kill this thing. Swampert. Psychic actually might not kill, so that's not my play. My play here is to go Tang, I think. I could go Zam. I feel like Zam is a throw. I'll just go Tang here. And, I don't know, I still have Torn for the cart, I also have Magirna for the cart, so I'm not re really that worried about that Pokemon. I'm just more worried about Greninja being a threat late game with maybe Shuriken. I'll go right here for a Giga Drain into Kartana, so if this is Choice Scarf, I actually do want to get rid of it. It goes for all-out pummeling as uh, I knock off no item, which is unfortunate. I can just go Tornadus now that I know it's not Scarf though, and that's really going to help me out here. They go for Smart Strike, but I do have Heat Wave on this set. Maybe I'll this Tornadus will finally hit a Heat Wave, let's find out. It did hit, but it was against this Pokemon, unfortunately. I think uh, all I actually have to do here is just sack this off and then go Tangrowth, I think. No, because then I can lose to Kartana, perhaps. No, I don't think I can. I think uh, I'm just going to Hurricane here as they decide to go for U-Turn, yeah. I really don't need Torn since it's so weakened now. I do not hit my attack, unfortunately. I was kind of hoping I would. Cheat Wave and knock that out there. So there's Specs Lele, we already know that. It's, this was Battle Bond, right? No, it was actually Protean, interestingly, so... I'm assuming this is Scarf Protean then, and they're going to go out into Mega Swampert here. Yeah, so Mega Swampert comes out. I'm pretty sure Tangrowth will take one from 59 very comfortably too, so... They decide to go out here into Tapu Lele. That shouldn't help them at all. In fact, I should keep Tangrowth here because it is my check to the Greninja and the Swampert. I think I just go Alakazam and then try to shift gear up. Yeah, so they go for Psyshock. Now here I can just go out into this and shift gear here. And uh, that should be okay. Worst case scenario, I think Tangrowth can 1v1 these last two Pokemon on its own. 
Yep, so uh, the question is, does Thunderbolt by chance do 38 to Specs Lele? I feel like it will. Shift gear. Actually, it probably doesn't. Thunderbolt. Yeah, it doesn't kill, so I have to try to hit a Flare Cannon, which is always scary, and I don't hit my Flare Cannon, and I just lost the game to that too. Hmm. So... Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and get out of that game right there. So uh, I got robbed again. <laughs> not quite going very ideally, but I'll be right back with another game. All right, so unfortunately I've not gotten very lucky these first two games right here. Ideally we can go ahead and stop that trend now and maybe get to land our attacks. That would be very cool. They're going to lead off with, I mean, Garchomp does really well against like everything against my team. I'm just going to lead Tang against Garchomp. I mean, Drill Lead is kind of the same scenario. I just get to Earthquake here. They can go hard Charizard, but they decide to Toxic over anything, which is fine. They would probably get up a rocks here, and I want to do the same, so I'm going to go out into my Gliscor and get up my rocks alongside them, because they get really pressured by this, so... Out comes the Charizard here. I really don't know what Charizard set this is, and it could be Zard Y. Gliscor is actually kind of good here. Against, like... I Actually, I guess it's not the greatest. I'll go for uh, Toxic as they go for Flamethrower. Thankfully, due to Gliscor being really spit F here, I'm able to take that hit pretty easily. And... I mean, this turn I can just go for Earthquake, and I'm just going to bluff this uh, item right here and go for HP Fire into either one of these two. Yeah, so they do fall for the bluff right there, which is really cool. And yeah, Zad Dog would come out next, which is a really strong bring in. They're probably doubling to Zard here, if I had to guess, but I'm going to go Tangrowth on the arrows. Okay, not the biggest deal. That thing is really worn down now, which is really cool for me. In this scenario, I, I can literally just click Knock Off. Actually, I guess HPS is my play. They could go for like a Z Draco Meteor here. Or I mean, Z, sorry, Z Outrage, and that would be a little bit bad. Yeah, I wanted to knock this thing off, but it's not the biggest deal. They know I have a Magnezone, but I'm going out into it anyway. Oh yeah, really good double, but I have Tang as a safe pivot every time. So if they're finally making that double, it's going to be this turn. They decide to go out into Ferrothorn here. I'll just click knock off this time, as unfortunately I get that turn wrong. Actually, I get it right technically, because they decided to go for Lead Sheet. I'm going for the Magirna win, and any damage on this is great. This guy keeps on making this double, and it's really frustrating. I'll go Torn this turn on just the Earthquake. Maybe I'll maybe this Torn will hit an attack now. That would be great. Hurricane, you want to come through? I did hit the Hurricane last time. And this guy's giving me damage on the Magirna check, so... That's really good for me. Yeah, so now Magirna literally just shift gears up and wins this, this game on its own. I guess it, maybe if it's Scarf Zydog... Uh, this thing comes in. I mean, this is my setup fodder, right? I'm gonna go right here for a hurricane. I already know this is gonna be that subset, and I'm gonna miss hurricane, and they're gonna get a sub up, and then I'm gonna have to attack another mon just to revenge it, but... No, I hit. Okay, cool. Okay, that's, it's this set. Okay. I see what's happening here. I'm just gonna go for hurricane again. As they get confused on that turn, which is really cool. Maybe a heat wave will break? It didn't break, and they break out right away. Kinda sad, okay, but thankfully, I actually am able to get that right. So I'll bring out my Magirna here and click Shift Gear. Yeah, and uh, now I just Twinkle Tackle and knock this Pokemon out. And uh, whatever comes out is Scarf, I know that. Uh, this has to, actually this can't, this doesn't outspeed me, does it? Yeah, it doesn't. So I knock that out with Fleur Cannon. I just need to hit a Fleur Cannon against Zygarde 10 and I will be fine this game. Magirna, you missed last time. <laughs> Just hit. I, I think Zam wins anyway, which is cool, but... I would love for Magirna to just get the clean sweep right here. I think they're calcing their extreme speed. That's not going to help them. I'm definitely still killing this. Yeah, that was never the play, but I guess nothing was ever the play there. So i finally able to win a game right here. I actually hit my attacks, which is very fortunate for sure. I very much enjoyed that one as compared to the other two, and I'll be right back with another game. Alright, I got the next game right here. We finally have a win on the board, which is very cool. Definitely think I should have gotten one earlier, but hey, it happens right here. I think... Like, Medicham lead does really well against me, but they could predict my turn lead and lead Weavile. I don't really switch into Weavile either, which is really problematic here. With Shadow Ball, Oko, Magirna... I just said Magirna, I meant Medicham. Medicham against Alakazam. It nearly always does, so uh, you know what, I'm just gonna go for that. They do lead Weavile, unfortunately. It's probably Choice Scarf, like, in all honesty. So... Choice Scarf knockoff would be their play. I'll go out here into Gliscor 
as they get in Magear now. They could have Ice Beam, and I have no business staying in on that, so I'll go here into my Mag Magnezone. If they're switching out, they go Zapdos or Weavile anyway, and Magnezone's good against both. Yeah, so Weavile comes out here, and this basically gives me a free specs. I think I just clicked Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt, actually, is, is Flash Cannon the play? Because if they knock me off, then I can't kill with Thunderbolt. I'm going to go for Thunderbolt, though. Yeah, because, I, I actually, isn't this immune to Flash Cannon? It probably was. Isn't it, like, Cannon and Ball and Bomb moves? It's something like that, I don't remember. Uh, this could be Belly Drum, it could also be the... What other variants do they run? It could be the Clangorous Soul Blaze one. Looking at their team, it's probably Clangorous Soul Blaze, given their lack of Z-move users. I guess Magirna could be one, too. I'm gonna make an offensive switch into my own Magirna here. On, uh, just rocks, okay, that was anticlimactic. I'll go right here for a, just a regular Flare Cannon's totally cool. It's probably a Salt Vest Magirna, just based on their play there. I'll go right here for Flare Cannon, though. Because any damage on Magirna is good damage for my Magirna Wincon late game. Oh, that's, that's definitely not a switch in. Yeah, that took a lot, and it's probably a Choice Scarf? It means it's going for Glare, most likely. I'll get in Magnezone this turn. Yeah, because I literally, really can't let my Wincon get glared right there. And this is definitely a Choice Scarf set, so I got a free Volt out here on a Zapdos, and I do 57, which is an absolutely savage number right there. And this allows me to get in my Alakazam. And once again, if they go Magirna as a pivot, I literally get damage on that for my Magirna, so... That would be very cool. They do go Magirna, it is Assault Vest, okay. And actually, I have no reason not to Focus Blast here. Because if I weaken this into range of T-Bolt, I'm gonna be golden. They decide to double out into the Zapdos, interestingly. I guess in an attempt to roost it, maybe expecting Magnezone to come in. And uh, they're just continuing to give me damage on this Pokemon, which is really cool. I guess this turn I'll go Tang, because they're gonna... They made it again, wow. Really solid. I actually was not anticipating that at all. I can go Magnezone here and just click Thunderbolt again. Like, they will outspeed me, maybe two it kill me with Heat Wave, but this is gonna take so much damage here. So they can actually roost because they're gonna lose their flying typing, so I really have no business staying in, yeah. I just got into this here. Like, I lost a lot of damage on... I lost a lot of health on Magnezone, which is good, but... I'm still gonna... Like, if they go back to Magirna here, I literally get damage for my own Magirna again. And they're not recognizing the fact that my Magirna is such a big threat to their team. Yeah, that's easily, like, I think that just means Shift Gear Magirna wins, right? I'm just gonna save Psychic here, too. I just want the damage. And uh, this turn, I can literally just go Tang Earth. Click, probably Earthquake here. Like, they can Flare Cannon. It's not gonna kill me, and all I need is my Shift Gear now. I guess a uh, Scarf Serp would outspeed me, could glare. And you already know I'm gonna get full paralyzed, but... I don't think that's what matters here. Uh, this thing comes out. I actually do have business saving Tang just for... Eh, actually, no, I have no business saving Tang. Let's just go right for that. As the, uh, Had I gone Torn, I died, so... This allows me to safely get in Torn. And what I'm going to do right here is go Magirna on the Zapdos and attempt my Shift Gear. Yep, I got another correct turn here. This is what I needed. I go right here for Shift Gear. They should go hard Superior. As that is their play. They're going to Scarf Glare me here. I just got to hope I break through paral Paralysis. Wow, that's a great start. So assuming I get this next Shift Gear off, I still do outspeed their entire team and win. But I need to break their para Paralysis, which is not a good win con at all. And the moment I don't break... Actually, I guess I only have to break through against Medicham, in all honesty. Everything else is going to not knock me out. So they're Scarfed into Glare. They have to be. Meaning, I'm assuming they'll just continue clicking Glare. Good. They go Como as I do get my second attack boost here, which is really good. I'm just going to go for a regular Flare Cannon as much as I hate to do. Actually, now I have to go for the Z here. Okay, there's that one, which is good. Meaning, if Zapdos comes out, it does die this turn. If Medicham comes out, I'm kind of forced to go for the Flare Cannon. Yeah, this is why I love Scarf Serp. Its speed tier is so good. Uh, this thing comes back out. It will die to Thunderbolt. And uh, that's actually... That was a really big misplay on their part. Because now if I Flare Cannon, I actually get back up to plus one. Whereas before, I did not. Let me just double check. Does plus two Thunderbolt knock out Metacham? Against Magirna. Thunderbolt. Something tells me it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. I have to Flare Cannon here. 
as I am able to break their para somehow. You would think that based on how this live's been going, I would not have broken through right there. I'm actually going to lose to Zapdos, which is unfortunate. <laughs> Meaning I have to focus Blast Weavel to make sure that my Flur Cannon Oko's it. Or actually, I can just Thunderbolt Weavel twice. What's it doing back to me? Nothing at all. They go Zapdos now. As I do break through, and uh, that should be it. Magirna, the MVP right here, is going to come through. Flare Cannon this. Uh, that's a flinch. Uh, that's actually a really good win con on their part. Please break through, Magirna. I did break through. Nice. So, Magirna is able to go ahead and seal the deal right here. That got really scary. I love. I hate Paralysis. It's the worst type of hacks to go up against because it just ruins your win cons really easily. But, thankfully, Magirna was able to go ahead and do the jab right there. I'll be right back with another game. Well, I already got the next game right here. Glad I didn't go on tilt because I was actually able to go ahead and win the last two games. Whereas, I think if I was on tilt, I probably would have just thrown both of them. But... This matchup right here is looking pretty terrible. Garchomp and Jirachi are a very big pain for this team. And uh, yeah, they're really bad. This matchup's pretty tough. I don't know what to do here, actually. Like, they have so many good lead leads against Tangrowth anyway. I'm gonna lead Tang. If they lead Salazzle, like an Earthquake. Like, the worst case scenario is they lead Zapdos. Or maybe Moal. Moal could be good, too. Bad. I guess a uh, <laughs> random banded Woodhammer from, yeah, there's a Mala lead. Okay, so I'm already in a bad spot here. What am I doing against this Pokemon? I can go, I mean, Ice Punch is a play they can click here, which is really tough for me. What win am I going for? I guess Magirna again, but I'm going to go Gliscor here. Oh, they're going for an SD. Okay. Meaning I have to attack here. I will live an Earth, I will live a Sucker Punch, but I need the damage. Yep, and uh, there is my Jirachi check just out of the game right away. It's kind of sad. Hmm. Torn, you take a plus two sucker. Something tells me it doesn't. <laughs> oh, you pivot against Mawile. Yeah, this is going to blow me back. Yep, I can't go out into that. I got to go Magirna here and click. Honestly, I'm clicking Z Flare Cannon, man. If this guy's crazy and goes Garchomp, that would be totally fine. And this gives me a speed boost anyway, so... So Lazzle comes out. Uh, this is actually not the play. I'm pretty sure I can actually take advantage of this and knock it out. My alternative would be going Torn. But Torn is my Bulu check. I, and I really don't see this breaking through Jirachi or anything. So I'll just go for a Thunderbolt. Not letting this thing sub. They can go for Toxic or whatever. I don't care. But I'm just going to go for the, like, try to break with Magnezone win. Uh, I already see what this set's trying to do. Sub, Toxic, Protect, probably Sludge Wave. I'm not going for... Uh, I'm actually not doing any of that, man. In fact, this turn I'll go Alakazam because... Okay, that's not what I was anticipating. So the reason I actually made the Alakazam play was because of my Magic Guard. I would not actually care about a Toxic at all. But in this scenario, I actually have to go Tornadus here, which is tough. As they just double back to the Salazzle, which is uh, really bad for me. I can go for a knockoff here and get rid of its Black Sludge, though. And that's really going to help me out in the long run. They would go for Protect here, but so I'm just going to go Alakazam. So the Zapdos double is interesting. I don't think I have any business staying in against it. I just go Magirna here on uh, Tapu Bulu here, which is totally cool because this gives me a Flur Cannon. Jirachi might finally come out here. That I could see that play being a thing. Salazzle will not appreciate this hit. The Jirachi does come out. Let's see what set this is. That's Scarf. Yeah, that's Scarf Jirachi, meaning I can go Magnezone here on the U-turn, which is, I mean, the U-turn is not a big deal. They're going to get in Guard Chomp, right? And I, I don't really see much use in this. Actually, I guess Tang is a good play here too. But I don't want rocks going up, so I'll go out into this. They'll probably knock me out here with the Z move. Or I guess just a regular Stone Edge. As I'm actually able to get a little bit of luck there and prevent those rocks, unfortunately, for my opponent. Let's bring this out here. You shouldn't go hard, Jirachi, so I'm just gonna Psychic. Wow, that ate that up, like, really easily. I'll go Tang here on the Horn Leech. Yeah, I really can't risk Zam. Zam wins this game on its own. Assuming I don't get static paralyzed, which is a big if, but I can go for a knockoff here. Yeah, even that that's so good for Zam too. Actually, it was Helmet, so it doesn't make a difference, but I'll go Magirna here on the Heat Wave. I'm able to take two of those, which is splendid. And uh, this turn, I can literally just go for Flare Cannon into Salazzle once again. So I actually have my Zam Mega Evolved now, which is kind of tough. Can I break that? I don't break it. That's really bad. Yeah, they just knocked me out. Meaning, uh, can I win this game at all? 
I go, I gotta go for the Zam win, clearly. I'll go Tang here and just go for an Earthquake. They're gonna protect, but it's not the biggest deal. I think Zam can win. If it breaks through once against the... They actually don't protect, interestingly. Okay, I'm gonna get in Zam on the protect. They just go for Flamethrower. I do have Recover, so it's it's not the end of the world. I I literally just go for Recover here. On Hard Bulu, and... Uh, I'll go Magnezone. Because this guy's gonna make the safe play again, yeah. So, this is fine. This turn, I can just go right for Specs Flash Cannon. Ah, should have Thunderbolted. Does that Spit of Drop help me at all? I go Zam here. On the Heat Wave. They didn't Roost it, which is really big, actually. So I can Psychic here on the Bulu. I get a Spit of Drop and a Crit, so this Hax is actually coming through for me here. They didn't risk that. They they shouldn't risk Jirachi here. That thing can win on its own. They should sack the Salazzle and then go Jirachi. Yep, that, they make the correct play here. Uh, they actually go back to Bulu though, which is... Uh, how much did I do earlier? 40 something, right? Okay, I'll go Magnezone. On uh, Synthesis? Okay, I was wondering, how did I get all that health back? I'll just Flash Cannon here. They might sack off Guard Chomp this turn. Uh, or they can just stay in for 95% damage just to synthesize that. Meaning it's actually no longer, and they just trap themselves in here with me. Meaning this thing has Fire Punch, but I don't care. I'm pretty sure if Zapdos comes out, won't I get two at KO'd now? Yep. They're faster though, and that's tough. But they lose their Flying Typing, that's not going to help me. I go Zam here. On the Roost. And what I gotta hope is that I don't get Static Paralyzed. I didn't, I'm sorry, Discharge Paralyzed is what I meant to say. Meaning, uh, this turn, I, I think I can just click Psychic again. Actually, I guess I'll just Shadow Ball here. It should knock this out, and I really don't want Jirachi coming in. They actually went Tower Hard Bulu, which I, I think is a really bad play. Like, that was your check to this Pokemon. But I guess it got me there. Do I live under terrain? Because if I do, I'm staying in here. If not, I go Tang. Let's calc that. Something tells me I don't at all. I'm just going to assume I don't. And go Tang here. That's an SD, so I should have Flash Cannon, but I do have HP Ice. That is a Continental Crush, but Tang's able to eat that up, which is cool. And, um... Yeah, Bulu is going to come out here. I go Magnezone. On the Horn Leech, and, um... I click Flash Cannon here. That goes down. Jirachi is probably the bring in here. Actually, what do they bring in at all? Yeah, Jirachi to what? Fire punch me? I don't think that's going to matter. I also don't think that's going to matter at all. I'm still out of range of Bulu too. So yeah, my opponent messed this up hard. Do you have superpower? I was actually just faster. I don't know what my opponent was trying to do late game. They uh, really messed up that end game right there. But hey, I'll take it and I'll be right back with another one. Okay, so my last game right here is just going to be up against Double Flinch Core, Kyurem Black, Broken Pokemon, Dragonite, Busted Sweeper, probably Shift Gear Magirna, and then Rocks Necrozma, so... How do I want to approach this? I mean, my own Magirna kind of just fists their team. Especially if that's an opposing Shift Gear Magirna, too. I want my Rocks up alongside them, so I'll lead off here with the Gliscor. Uh, that's not a very good lead. Yikes. I really can't go hard Magirna, too. That's my win con. But I think I have to here. I'll just go out into it. And uh, maybe go for a Zam game. Yeah, they just go for Ice Beam, which is totally cool. Especially because here, unless they're Tectonic Rage, which I wouldn't anticipate. That, that I'm faster. Is it a Salt Fest? No, it died, so I, I don't know now. I already know if Flinchard is coming out here, too. That's definitely what they're about to do. And if Jirachi is the said Flincher that comes out, I'm going hard Magnezone and attempting to trap that thing and knock it out. Necrozma is fine. I can actually take this opportunity to shift gear if I really want to try now. But I think Fleur Cannon is my play. This Magirna does not hit any attack ever. I guess it broke through Para that one game, so that's cool. But that would have probably O-Code it. Plus one from Magirna. Against offensive Necrozma too. Uh, this was faster, right? So 251. I don't know if they have enough speed for Magnezone. I'll go, I'll go Alakazam here. And click Shadow Ball. Yeah, so I am faster, which is uh, very nice. Meaning, uh, unless Jirachi's the rocker, I've denied rocks now, which is really cool for me. 
I'm actually tempted to recover here, but I think Shadow Ball is my play. I really can't allow this thing to get a Blast Ditch Effort or Ox, which is... That would be very bad. I think AV Tang is my new counter to Magirna. So the thing is with this, it can extreme speed me, but I, I really like the Torn play. I'm just going to Psychic though, because this guy's going to Dragon Dance. I can already tell he's going to do that based on what he's been trying to do this game. Yep, and now I just go out into this here, and uh, I don't know if they have Roost, but I'm going to go for a Hurricane. They did a lot. Uh, so, that missed. And they didn't click Extreme Speed, I don't know if you guys noticed that one. So, Life Orb, Ice Punch, meaning now I have to take damage with this Tangrowth, which was my Magirna counter, which is <laughs> super bad, because I'm about to lose to Magirna. Yeah, I'll take that, but now I just lose to Magirna on the spot, I think. Because that's going to be their Z-move user, and then even then, I have to break through Flinch Core, which is, like, super dumb, but... <laughs> Yep, Magirna comes out now because this Tangrowth, because they clicked Ice Punch for who knows what reason. Earthquake here, they go for Shift Gear, and I'm pretty sure that just ended the game. I'll try to make some pivots around here into Gliscor on maybe a Thunderbolt, and then maybe into... That was an Ice Beam, okay. I'm just gonna hope that maybe they miss a Focus Blast. That's my Wincon now, which is crazy. Miss, come on. This is a justified miss. Oh, they have Aura Sphere. Yeah, let me get out of this game. So I basically got robbed of three games in this live, and uh, the other three I was able to win, which is very cool. I definitely think... Uh, I played fine for the most part, but maybe I could have done some maneuvers to get around the hacks. Who knows? But I did hope you all enjoyed. The team will be down below in the description in case you guys do want to try it out. And I'll see you next time. Later.